Tell me about Grandebridgeshire. A force of Danes, called the Summer Army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grandebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. Hail! What has happened here? Who is asking? Eivor, of the Raven Clan. Did you and your men fail to take the village? No. No, we had it for a time. It was nothing but a cluster of waterland daub huts when we came. We made it lively. Grandbridge was a thriving hub of trade and song under the care of Soma Ayalskona. But the Saxons took it back. They appeared within the city as if rising from the shadows and drove us out. They just appeared in the city. It was like they burst out of the center of the city itself, setting aflame everything in their path, shouting some nonsense about an ancient order of warriors. By the time I saw the fires, too many of us were killed or captured. Our Yarsko Masuma, she bellowed the retreat and we took refuge in the ruins. But in the chaos, we were separated. She and the bulk of our forces fled northeast into the swamps. I'd follow if we were fit to. We need her iron fist. I can find Soma. Be ready when we return. She'll be deep in the fog of the Fenlands by now. Find her longship. That's your best bet. Save Looks it for later. like Ragnarok itself came for Grand Bridge. A great battle raged nearby. Whole course. We'll see what else lies within the fog. Chasing more in a month, my friend. You come like a Valkyrie out of the fog. But we have no dead to give you. You must be Soma. Let's talk elsewhere. Give them a chance to rest. Quite a hit you took. How many were lost? It's kind of you to ask, but with so much blood in the water and death on the air, I'd know your name and purpose first. Eivor of the Raven Clan. 
I came for you looking for a friend, an ally. I see. I'm Soma, Lord of Grandbridge. Though it seems an order of lunatics wishes to strip me of that title. The Order of the Ancients. Sounds right. The Saxon called Wigmund is one of them. He robbed me of my city, forced us into these swamps. I've rallied some of my soldiers, but my three advisors are missing. If we hope to retake Grand Bridge, I'll need them at my side. Tell me about them. They are my best, my inner circle. Bina, Galin, leave. We may as well be of the same blood. If I can reunite them, and we retake your city, can I call you a friend and ally? If you can do all that, you can call me whatever you want. Who is this Wickmund? What does he want? He's a flailing elderman under the old king. A bitter man digging his fingernails into Grant Bridge, just to say he can. He's made many attempts to unseat me before. This time he managed a trick. What happened to Grant Bridge? The elder man Wigman seized it from us. I'm not sure how he managed, but he will not keep it. Not for long. He has supporters outside the city, but this attack seemed to come from inside the walls. From the heart of Grant Bridge. Let's find your advisors. Agreed. We'll look for signs of their longboats along the river. And if we are swift, we will find them before the wolves do. I know what you must think. What must I think? That it's foolish to search the Fenlands for so few people. You told me the soldiers you lost were your best. Vital to retaking the city. You think it's foolish? Not at all. Then why would I? You have the look of one who does well with solitude. You're alone, a wanderer. It may be you think of soldiers as war fodder, and little else. But these warriors are more than a blade and shield. They are my family, nothing short. I've lost a city this week, I will not lose them too. I understand. And if your people yet live, we will find them. A group of Danes held captive. If you would be so kind, I've had quite the day. Ah, Look friend. through the fog, Leaf. You have my Follow the beacon. Our camp is at its base. We'll return when we found the others. We'll head straight to the camp and see that everyone's shipshape when you return. Leaf is a prim and proper man, isn't he? He lives by a strict code of honor, more than most. And builds the best longships I've ever sailed. They're the reason we escaped Grand Bridge alive. He's not the strongest man. But he's wise, and canny, and hard to pin down, like a fish wriggling free of a net. Wolves. They've surrounded someone. Must be careful. Oh, he's laughing behind his shackles, wretched carrion beasts. I don't deserve this. Leave me! Run! <laughs>
Galen, you look terrible. What happened here? Saxons chased me into the fog, ran me smack into a nest of bandits. But Freya was on my side, and I saw them before they saw me. Are you the only one of your crew left standing? I am, and hardly standing myself. But with the blessings of Odin and Freya, they'll be feasting well with the gods. I've set a camp not far from here, marked by a beacon. Go there, Galen, and recover. Eivor and I will find the others. I'll head back to camp, and as I recover, I'll watch over the rest with a care that only Freya knows. Leave and Galen didn't always get along, but they've bonded since we took Grand Bridge. Sour blood between them, in a way. Both considered themselves my second, and hated the other for it. But I do not rank my family like I do my horses. Competition can mar the love between siblings for life. It can also bring out the best in people, if the fire is stoked light. Saxons surrounding that old hut. There may be Danes trapped inside. We will attack on sight here. That's right! Tire yourself out! Weak little kittens. Can't even open one barricaded door! You rot in hell when we're done with you! You'll suck my toes when I'm standing on your head! That's fair enough, for sure. If my head was in a bucket of water, I'd still know. Fate. Going to smash you! Remain steadfast! Someone sweeping the hearth outside? We handle it just fine. Thinking of starting a new town, in fact. This house being our first. Follow on, Birna. Leaf and Gallon are safe at the camp we've made. Eivor? Meet us there when you're ready. Thank you, Soma. And you as well, Sambim. The beacon has drawn the last of my soldiers. By tomorrow, our strength will have returned, and we can retake our city. I have not yet spoken to Leif, Birna, and Galen about this. After my missteps, I worry what they must think of me. They'll be grateful you risked your life to find them. I would be. By Thor's hammer, I am glad we're together. In spite of our setback. Galen, you look... well worn. Do not grieve the men you lost. They will be singing your praises in the Corpse Hall, waiting for us. Thank you, Jarl's Corner. Leif, you'd outlast any Tempest. It's good to be back, Soma, all as one. And know this, that I will follow you through the eye of the storm if you called. Birna. I'm delighted you're alive. I'm delighted to be living. I lost so many after all this. But I still have you three. That makes me the most blessed warrior in Midgard. And Eivor, you have more than proven your worth. Help us reclaim our city, and you will have an ally in me. My blade is yours. For Grand Bridge. Bridge to me, Wigmund. No more of our people need die. We may talk this out, lord to lord. <laughs> what are we to talk about? 
You have nothing I need. Worth by birth, even. I was born a noble. You were plucked from a giant's armpit. I built this town. From a mud hut to a thriving port. And we both know you'll bleed those ridges dry without my guiding hand. Leave! Go die in the muck where you belong, heathens! Wigman! Wigman! Let's try one final time! Quit Grant Bridge! And when she is mine once more, I may spare your life! Ha! I command Grant Bridge! I am master here! And I will scour you rats from this land like rot from a festering wound! Let me give you some advice, old bear! The surest way to stop a wound from festering isn't with a blade. It's with fire. Yeah! Um, now, stains of Brambridgeshire! Retake what's yours! Look at Grant. We'll surely find him there. Wigmund! You cannot hide from me forever! Come face your death! Heathen eels! Wigmund is gone! He's gone! <laughs> <laughs> My clan throws the best feasts, I think you'll find. You enjoy yourself? I did. But were you celebrating or mourning? You looked unsure.
The night of the attack, I heard sounds of bloodshed coming from the Longhouse. In moments, the city was overrun with Saxons, so I called a retreat. We all have our one day, but not like that. Not that day. I have heard this before, that the Saxons appeared as if from the shadows. In all my time in Brantbridge, this tunnel was my most careful project. The best kept secret in the city. Now a hundred or more Saxons know the smell of it. The only people who knew about this tunnel were me, and the three in my inner circle. You believe you were betrayed? I know I was. By whom? That is where I hesitate. Between Leif, Galen, and Birna, I cannot say. But they are the three who helped me dig this in secret. I hoped you might lend me your wits. You are a fresh ally. I could use your eyes and ears. I promised you I'd help secure your city. That task isn't yet done, it seems. Good. I sent Galen, Leif, and Birna to destroy what remains of Wigman's power throughout the Shire. Meet with them. Raid with them. Get to know them as best as you can. Find out which of them betrayed me. You could plan your attack and see if it flushes out the traitor. Too great a risk. This snake could compromise us at any time. I need clear, sound judgment. I need you, Eivor. You have me. Thank you. Feel free to take a look around as you wish. Search the city, the tunnel, and here, a gift, for retaking Grand Bridge with us. One of the few things I have left from my blood family. leads to the long house. The trader marked it with a yellow cross, then opened the way and led them in. The trader must have exited here with a few more, heading away toward the riverbank. A trail of yellow paint drops. Someone hauled this bucket of yellow paint all the way down to the riverbank. They quickly painted a longship beached here, and they sailed off with allies to help crew the vessel. How did you come to be in Soma's clan? A vision from Evolva set me on this path. It pricked my mind like a splinter, then faded. But I wanted more. For months, years, I ate only henbane, mushrooms, sacred plants. Hoping to see something new, but my body dwindled. I lived addled, maddened, a wanderer. Taken in by Saxons and spat out, again and again, until Soma found me. Naked and alone in the fence. She clothed and cared for me, humbled as I was. I owe her my life. I'd been in England for ages before Guthrum, Ivar, Uppa, smuggling under the eyes of Saxons and Danes alike. I lied, stole, had my nose broken. Life wasn't easy, but it taught me how to bear the pain. I just laughed it away. When Soma took me in, she saw more than a smuggler in me. I was useful to something greater than myself. Useful to her vision. In a world where few saw you as worthy of trust, she's one who did. Right. And I love that about her. I love everything about her. We came to England together, sailing under Guthrum. The great summer army, the Saxons called us. When Guthrum left for Wessex, Soma stepped forward to lead. Something I would have liked to do myself. What would you do if you were the Jarl of Grandbridge? I would run the city in my own way. I would not give Birna and Galen's opinions equal weight. Do you not trust them? I wouldn't say that. It's more. Birna's boots are stuck in the mud, and Galen's are in the sky. If death were bearing down upon us, I worry neither would have what it takes to carry us through. Leif. He's a talented sailor, if a little enthusiastic. And Birna, well, Birna thinks of life as a grand joke. She was a smuggler when Soma pulled her from the muck. 
making a living on lies. Birna is part of my clan, and I will fight beside her, the reverend as she is. But she has no care for her destiny. Oh, Leif's got that raw animal pull. Every time I see him, I want him to climb me like a tree and nest in my armpits. He brays about being honorable, but I've never met a man of honor who starts a fire just to be praised for putting it out. And Galen, he broods like it's an art form. He's got this self-importance that is just so charming. As a master shipbuilder, what does your work require? Patience and love. I know each of our vessels as a parent knows their child. But building ships needs silver too. The hard wood, the tough fabrics, the expensive paints, the yellow I use, for instance, that must be imported. A high price for a happy color. I'm certain that's why someone stole my paint some weeks ago. Blasted thief. Visions can be strange and powerful. What did you see? I was climbing a mountain. A lion and a snake upon my back, weighing me down. I struggled, and Soma appeared, and she eased my burden. When we reached the peak, there was hardly enough room to stand. On a point like the tip of a blade, we teetered there, gripping one another, tightly. I know I can seem distant, obsessed, but the gods are with us always. I see it as my duty to shelter Soma from their ire. You seem to bring life and spirit to this clan. Does Soma feel the same? If I knew what was going on in another person's head, I'd find life dreadful and dull. But Soma seems to enjoy my company. In what way? Her own way. Just not in the way I'd like. Painful truths are easy to bear when you can laugh, you see. Delight in the face of suffering is an act of rebellion. You were there when Guthrun made Soma the steward of Grandbridge. How did that feel? Good fortune for her. When Soma took hold, the silver started flowing and the people started dancing. She knows straight. I do wish I'd been bold enough to put myself forward, to take on the burden and honor of running a city. But that's beside the point. Soma is my Jarl's corner, and I'm her sworn man. No act of any god will change that. Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around your Oli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grandbridge is a province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now and water the orchards with his blood. No, oh, sweet lord, no! No, no! He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm. Thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane Hapwitz! The Lord will smite you from this land, all of you! May God have mercy on- <laughs> That home-thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. Eivor, what did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely, hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack, but I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. Leif betrayed you. Are you certain? Leif told me his yellow paint had been stolen. Yellow is a troublesome color to make. He was upset when his stores were stolen. I found an empty barrel of yellow paint beside a longboat launch. Yellow paint was used to mark a boat the night of the attack. An odd time for a fresh coat of paint. But that's his work, is it not? Leif wishes he had stepped up to lead. And to be where you are now. Leif has a celebrated place in my clan. As a shipbuilder, he is without peer, and he knows I know this. Leif disagrees with how you run Grandbridge. This city thrives under me. 
as a bustling port for his longships, for instance. This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must. My family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Leaf. You have betrayed me, Leaf. Soma. That's not true. A grown man should have a better grasp of his jealousy. It must not drive him to madness and destruction. But with you, every one of our warriors, our slaughtered people are dead because you could not be where I am now. I have only ever served you, Soma. I would never betray my clan, my family. I am a man of honor. And ambition. Hmm. Wigman took you from us long before I ever raised my blade. Clear the body. I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wigman deserves death. But killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. It will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She is a leader, not a friend, Eivor. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. My raiders are here. Where the rest of yours? They cannot be lost. Something is not right. No titles, but my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies, but your name will soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. 
yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. Yield, yield, yield! If your hell is real, I'm glad you'll get to see it. We should return to camp before I let go and burn this heap to the ground. Going forward, I must take care. Houses can be built in new. Crops can be found in time that we can trust. That will take longer to repair. But you have a new friend and ally in me and my clan, Soma. The end of the storm is well in sight. You're right. I know you're right. It's just... It's difficult to see that end when you're still in the storm's eye. Galen, what are you doing? We're at the mountain's peak, Soma. With room for one alone. So I claim this summit, Jarl's Corner. I claim Grant Bridge. You fucking rodent, Galen. It was you. You let those Saxon insects into our home. You betrayed us. It was preordained, Soma. Like the sunset. Like the bird's flight. You coward. You let an innocent die in your place. You have your sibling in the Bloodspring at your mercy. How could you waste your family so easily? There is no river of blood deep enough to keep me from my destiny. Only one verse of this song remains. It is my destiny to rule. It is your destiny to die. All of you! We all have our one day. Uh. <laughs> My vision has come to pass. I stand at the mouth of You peace. stand on the bodies of your brethren. Move free this time. Destiny, if you kick a hornet's nest, it's not destiny when you get stung. a heavy price to pay for one so bile. I climbed to the peak of the mountain. To my... my destiny. Your vision took you as far as the mountain's peak, but there was only room for one to stand. I am the one standing. Please, Soma. My life in the lap of the gods.
You live. Sweet gods among us, Birna, you're alive. <laughs> Galen couldn't kill me. It is not my destiny. Get this Drenger back to the longboats. We're going home. <clears throat> Her wounds are severe, but not seeping. She will heal. I should have guessed it was Galen. If I had trusted my instincts, if I had dealt with all this alone, or discovered him sooner... Soma, forgive me. I followed my judgment as best I could, but I was wrong. I'm responsible. We killed the wrong warrior, Eivor. A terrible truth that tastes of soot and ashes. Do not think I blame you. I held a blade. The decision was my own. Now, I must explain myself to my people. The cost of war is always high, and victory can be sour. But you have your city back, and Wickman is dead. As may be all trust in me. After all, why should any trust me if I cannot trust my closest friends? Trusting people by their words, their deeds, is as much as anyone can expect. But for you, it bit back like a rabid dog. That's how I feel. Exactly. Thank you for standing at my side in this. You have my oath and my arm in the battles to come, Eivor of the Raven Clan. Good. One day I may need them. <laughs>